Anybody ever heard of that? Have you heard of it? What do we know? Anybody? Young people? Old, older people? Family? What do we know about Baal? People? Evil? But how so? What is Baal? What is Baal worship? If you know, share it. You know, go ahead. And you can look it up. You can Google it. Come on. This is Bible class. You see. Well, th those are, that's the devil, but, but that's not, I'm on specifics. You know, we can say evil, the devil, I mean, the devil could be driving fast, but I, I'm on a, okay, the part of Baal worship, but that, uh, let's use our, let's use our cheat sheet. Let's, let's get some specifics on what Baal worship is. And Balaam, B-A-L-L-I-M. I want us to deal with, so, because we, we can call things evil and the devil. Yeah. Okay, fertility, deity, now we're narrowing it down. Others, if you got it, talk back to me. Young people with your phones, use them for everything else. Let's get in Bible class tonight. Sterility. Okay, are we getting a picture here? <laughs> Sterility, fertility, death, what are we talking about? What do you see? Abortion. <laughs> Sacrifice of children. So see, it's not just the devil and evil. So how is Baal alive today? Abortion clinics. They, they're happening so much now, you don't even... You do, you don't it don't even bother you to change the channel you don't even you don't you're not even appalled you, uh, when you hear it today and some bodies protesting out in front of abortion clinic out in Wilwoka, Oklahoma uh, down there you don't get all bent over oh my God mama the husband wife come here these people are killing kids oh are you who does that. Who stands up in the middle of the floor and has a hissy bit today because somebody is, and, and, and someone sits and say, and they go in in the third trimester when the child's six months old with forceps, and they pull, sometimes the baby is alive and all that. Who, who, who cares? You, you, you're desensitized to that. And, and I'm not bringing that up to... to to do anything and bring awareness to it. Who, who cares? You just, you, you take the remote and do this. Do you, do you miss dinner behind that? Do you call somebody and say, quit, turn on channel four? Because it happens every day. Matter of fact, I want you to Google right now. Let's use these phones. Abortions in, in America. Uh, just somebody Google how many abortions in America in the in the 21st century. Come up with a number. Okay, so that's a million. Okay, it's about, they said, what I'm looking, they said, they declared it 25 million unsafe abortions that take place a year. Okay. Even, you know, in, in clinics and outside. Okay, so unsafe, unsafe, that's, that's, uh, that's known abortions. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So do me a favor, Google uh, how many abortions by medication or pills I don't there's a no, name for the pill what's it called plan B that's what it's called okay 
Now, you know why this is, this is necessary to talk about? Because our children today, and we've got people that range in ages from nearly 70 to 13 in here. Yeah, we've got like three generations in here, okay? What, what would not occur in my generation, what would not occur in my generation, matter of fact, I want someone else to Google abortions in 1955. Okay, that's the year I was born. And, and there were abortions in 1955. How many? Well, there's something saying between, it was between 200,000 and 1.2 million. In 1955? 1955. Okay. So if 25 million is anywhere close... Okay, so in 1955? Mm -hmm. Okay. Illegal, how many you got? In 1955. And these are just keep compounding. Okay, which is which is which is more than the, the five hundred thousand you got? Are you sure that's? I don't know. Th that did seem a little low, but I didn't want to dispute you because I you looking it up. Okay, <laughs> it, it's a lot. Okay. What you got, babe? This iPad. Oh, this has got to be the truth. Oh, Lord. Look at here. What you got? Who said that? What you say? What you say, Renee? Ooh, that's 20%. No, no. Okay, but look, thank you. Uh, now, this one here is, uh, let's see, this is number ratio, rate of report induced abortions, 1980 through 2018. Okay, in, tw in 1980, there was 1,545,170 uh, induced abortions. Uh, in 2018, well, they didn't have it, but in 2017, well, it came down 862,300. So it came down. Okay. Now. Here's my point with all of that. These numbers is just there. Thank you, dear. So each year between 1980 and, and 2012, there was over a million abort, aborted babies. Okay. And then, then it, it, at least it got down to 862,000. Here's the point I'm trying to make. That's in the 21st 
century, the 20th and the 21st century, that's Baal. That, that's one part of Baal worship that has affected this generation is affecting the mindset of this generation and the young people, especially the young people that are of reproductive age right now. Uh, I'm going to go out and say generations X, Y, and Z, which I don't like putting labels on y'all because as Christians, I don't call y'all X, Y, and Z if, if you want to call yourself that. But they call you guys X, Y, and Z, you know, because uh, um, they like they call me uh, the, the baby boomer generation because uh, our parents uh, was uh, World War II uh, people. Uh, but here's my point. You, your generation, all of you who are in here, you, you, you're, be, you're between 17 and 30. Generation who is more saying it's okay and more susceptible that if you get pregnant, you have more opportunity and more access to clinics and the reason we sh we should say something about it is because if the church isn't saying anything about it who is because we are source of light what are we doing if we're not saying it who is saying about it? your congressman Because it is a form of bell worship. And where does the voice of conscience of right and wrong come from? Is it right or wrong? And I'm not here. If, if, let me say that. If there's any woman in here who's had an abortion, you need to take that up with God. Because I'm, 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 I'm not, I don't know it, and I'm not here judging you. I'm, I'm here to speak the truth that it's wrong. We can argue it because you had special circumstances. You were raped. We can talk about that later. But one out of a million is raped. The abortions that's going on now ain't because of rape. It's because people had a good time and because they had a change of mind. Rape, rape, rape don't even come in, too, while people are taking the, the night after pill, the day after pill. It's either uh, mama said you're too young, and mama, uh, daddy, if somebody said daddy don't want to take care of it, the young man don't want to take care of it because he's got a career, we might well keep it real. He's young, and his mother and father don't want his life messed up, or they don't want your life messed up, the girl's life messed up. I'm, I'm not, at this point, I'm not making a, a moral on this person, I'm simply saying that all the reasons that people are given for doing it, none of them stack up with God. Because in the year, bring me your thing again, uh, Asia. In the year 1980, when, when nearly 2 million kids was, was aborted, one of them's name was Stephen. One of them's name was Wayne Albert. One of them was called into the gospel. One of them was called to be a pastor. One of them was called to be a great deacon, minister, singer. One of them was called to be a great minister, singer, woman of God. One of them was called to be a great woman of God. You can't tell me all of them was called to die and go to hell. There, there ain't no way. In 1980, 1,545,170. Only God can give life, and you cannot convince me. We'll be here all night when you're going to tell me that every last one of them was called to be a crackhead and wasn't going to be no good, no how. You can't convince me that just because they was conceived in the ghetto 
and he wasn't, daddy wasn't about nothing, and mama was too young, that that baby was going to turn out to be nothing if he came in that bad situation. You, gonna tell, you can't tell me that because one of them was raised in Kenlock and daddy was an alcoholic, and mama, you know, she was a church girl, but she needed a lot of help that he wasn't going to turn out, that he had a love for God and wanted to help get people saved. You can't tell me that one of them, you know, going to... Do go to California and get in some trouble, and amen. But at the middle of life, turn around and want to serve God with all their heart. You can't tell me that just because they had a wild teenage that when they got 30, 40, they want to settle down and serve God because destiny 